Okay guys, so in this video, what we're gonna look at is just a general overview, basic ideas when I'm in the close guard on the top position. Okay, so just eliminating all the stupid mistakes that you can make, try to save time and get right to the high percentage stuff, okay? Some of those things are really, really simple, uh, but very important, okay? The first thing is don't put your hands on the floor, okay? We wanna keep our hands on our partner at all times, okay? 90% of the time we wanna actually have a grip on our partner, okay? This makes me more stable. Okay, there's a bunch of different grips and different controls that you can use in the biceps, both hands on the collars here. Okay, one hand on the collars, one on the sleeve. Okay, I can go two on the arm. Okay, lots of different things I can do, but the common thread there is my hands are always on my partner. Okay, never on the floor. Okay, so you put hands on your partner. Second thing we wanna do is avoid trying to do submissions while I'm in the close guard on the top. Okay, absolutely it's possible to pull off some low percentage techniques, but against a good trained opponent, okay, it's gonna be not successful, and most of the time you'll be wasting your time, okay? So we wanna to try to avoid coming forwards here, trying to attack my partner's arms. I wanna avoid trying to choke him, okay, reaching for collars and trying to drive in here. Okay, all these things are quite crude and can work against an untrained opponent, but against a skilled one, uh, it's pretty much not gonna work at all, okay? So we wanna to try to avoid submissions. Don't try to attack his arms. Don't try to attack his neck. Okay, keep yourself back and away from your partner with your hands on them at all times. Okay, so my hands are on him and I'm not trying to submit him. Okay, my goal in the closed guard is to get out and away from his guard. Okay, I wanna open the guard, get myself out and start passing. Okay, I don't want to try to submit him when I'm here. Okay, so no hands on the floor and no submissions. Okay, our goal is to get out. And how we get out is 90% of the time we're looking to stand. Okay, again, there's some there is some guard breaks we can do while being on our knees. It's not impossible, but generally the highest percentage techniques are gonna be standing, okay? So getting yourself to your feet, okay? And getting up here to try to increase your leverage and try to get yourself out, okay? So super basic stuff, no hands on the floor, okay? No submission attempts, okay? And we wanna to try to stand to get ourselves out, okay? So we're keeping hands on our partner, never putting our hands down on the floor, and we're trying to stand to get out. Okay, very last thing, we wanna to try to keep square with our partner, okay? So my chest and shoulders in line with his chest and shoulders, okay? I never want my arms crossing the center line of that box of his chest and shoulders, okay? So if my arm goes across for one second, this creates angles for Neil to go to my back, okay? Start climbing around me, okay? Or start trying to attack my arm with the arm bar. You can climb around me a little bit there. Okay, so I wanna keep at all times Okay, him square, okay, and in front of me here. Okay, so my elbows and my arms in a square position, not with my arm at any stage crossed. Okay, so even when I start trying to stand, okay, I never cross my arms. I'm trying to stay square in front of him here. Okay, never giving him angles on either sides of my arms. Okay, I'm constantly wrestling for that square position with him. Okay, our knees are wide. We're sitting back on our heels. Okay, I keep good posture with my head and chest tall. Okay, and my hands are on him. Okay, no hands on the floor, hands on him with grips, no attempting submissions. Okay, trying to stand and get ourselves out and keeping that square position with him in front of us at all times. Okay, it's from this basics uh, that we can start to work our way out. Okay, but those are really important things just to outline, uh, knowing not to try submit, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in the next videos, we'll get into the different methods that we can get ourselves out.